Hello, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel. This should be called Current Saving Power Supply Part 3. <clears throat> now I think I'll finally have a prototype after I add some more transformers to reach 120 volts and I'll be able to display it and apply for those grants that I want to expand my business. Now what I do here is I use these two transformers here which are four to one step down transformers. They put out about 28 to 30 volts. So I'm creating about 58 or 60 volts here and then I pass them through these no step isolation transformers Each one gets connected to one, and then they, the secondaries are added in series to make approximately 50 or 60 volts. And then these two transformers are the primary coils are connected in series, and I pass the 60 volts through them. 30 volts goes to the one transformer and 30 volts goes to the other transformer. Then the secondary coils are wired in parallel to run this 60 watt light bulb. That's 60 watt there. And won't focus very well, but 60 watts. So now I'll plug it in and do the current measurements to show you that it saves current. So we'll plug her in. There's the light bulb on, providing about 30 watts. of electricity though, power. And turn on my current meter. Now she measure about 0.19 or 0.2 amps. It says 0.9, but I had 0.2 before. Oh yeah, so I'm showing 0.818 now. Well, it went up to 0.19. So it varies a little bit. And coming from the wall. It measures 0 0.09 or point one zero so that's a little less than a hundred percent a little less than fifty percent which is pretty good but it should be fifty percent exactly so I'll just unplug it here And it could be due to some copper losses due to all the wiring in these transformers. And when I add more, it could be worse. And I think I damaged these a little bit when I applied 240 volts to them before for a brief moment. But it damages them right away, I think. Okay, later I'll be using these. I have lots of these, over 10 of them. They're 10 to 1 step down. Transformers. But they put out about 15 volts each. So we need 8 of them to make 120 volts. Then we need 8 of these. And 2 more of these would be 10 altogether. 
and I do have 10, but I'm about to order some new ones. Would be ideal. Now I just want to show you the circuit I drew back in 2022. September 23rd, 2022. This is just using one step down, 10 to 1 step down transformer to create 15 volts. Then I make all these parallel branches and then I use the no step 1 to 1 ratio transformers. I would need seven of them plus the one straight through branch AB. To create 120 volts going to the load. And I thought it would save current because when you convert voltage to current in a step down transformer, the current more current is available. But it depends what it draws from the wall compared to what goes through the load resistor. So, well, I'll just read here what it says here. If one amp goes through the primary of T8, then the secondary puts out 10 amps to run RL at 10 amps. Therefore, this saves 90% electricity. I'm not sure that's correct, but... T8 must be custom made for the VA ratings you want. Those small step down transformers, 10 to 1, put out 15 volts. For ones that put out 12 volts, you would need 10 branches instead of 8 because 12 times 10 equals 120 volts. You may save more using more transformers. So I'd be about 95% if that's correct. Okay, I guess that's all I want to say about this circuit for now. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.